I was saying something, and I've completely forgot. Hey, bro, what's Shay up? Shay Cormac. Hi. Here you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. Oh, look at I just me. Just witness what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell oh, shit! That's the amulet! Well, I know both the Assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. Huh? These Is temples Brazil? hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti Falls or... Lisbon. Or any other place the manuscript shows. And the Assassins are blindly interfering with these structures. I... And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. I see I got the tree on my belt. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the uh, Lubeberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer. James oh, it feels Cook. so good to hear Adrian Hughes' voice again. a mission that could be strategically valuable. James Cook? Are you kidding me? Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Bye-bye, Haytham. Good to see you. Uh, well, not, but you know what I mean. Um, I was saying something again. Right, um, there, I have a tree on my belt of my outfit right here. Can't see it very well from here, but yeah, right there. And, um... In that convent church thing in Lisbon, um, there was a stained glass window that had a tree on it, if I remember correctly. So, yikes. Some form of, like, the tree of life? Possibly. Yes. Ah, back to the North Atlantic! The Grandmaster is so interested in Captain Cook. Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. Narwhal! His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax... He also just became captain of his own man of war. Oh shit. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. I missed it. Fuck. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret. Especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Yes, sir. Duly noted. You have wood and metal, but you are level 25, which I am not, so... Give me a second, I am gonna go around you. If the Royal Navy can take that port, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. Oh, shit! The tide is turning. Really? We're going General to Canada! Will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damn continent. I fear we'll take more than that, friend. There's a strong constitution to survive out here. That's all whiskey. <laughs> That's a very funny guess. That looks like a shipwreck. But I can't do that right now. Story stuff only. I'm really, right now, I'm dreading the next Paris mission. And I'm dreading, um, when we're gonna finally cross paths with William again. That was awesome. What is that? What the fuck is that? A data fragment on the sea? What the hell? It's creepy. Give it here, though. Let me pick it up. I guess. I okay, cool. We don't have to get off on tiny little land masses just to collect one fragment and then go back to the ship. That was kind of a nuisance in Black Flag. So they fixed that. Thank you very much. All I gotta do is sail into it. There she is. The HMS Pembroke. Oh, the Pembroke. Captain James Cook's ship. Wow. She's a beauty. Yeah, she is. Man of war. Fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Wow. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Yeah. That guy. What do you 
thing in July. That's <laughs> the only freaking word I know. Men of War. Is that a play on words? Welcome Probably. aboard, gentlemen. Hey! Good to see you again, Captain. Look Captain at you! Captain Cormac, Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisburg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it if they launch this attack. Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisburg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? Oh, what? <coughs> I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real, uh, firepower. I'm gonna pilot the HMS Pembroke? Captain. Oh my god! First the Queen Anne's Revenge, now the HMS Pe Oh my god. History has a initiate. <sighs> Loading screen first. Well, that kind of broke the immersion, didn't it? Oh, shiza. Wow, that music's good. I remember the last time I piloted one of these, though. Men of War. They're sluggish. There you are! Hold on, I'm reading about James Cook. Just before we start here, we're just sailing into the battle here. He apprenticed in the Merchant Navy while studying algebra, geometry, navigation, and astronomy, which would serve him well in the future, I'll say. Nobody reads anymore, you know? <laughs> After rising through the ranks of the Merchant Navy, Cook volunteered for service in the Royal Navy to see action in the Seven Years' War. During the Seven Years' War, Cook served as the master of the HMS Pembroke. He took part in the capture of the Fortress of Louisburg, the Siege of Quebec City, and the Battle of the Plains of Abraham. Fun fact, Americans refer to the war as the French and Indian War. That's right. French Canadians call it the War of, of the Conquest, and my favorite, the Swedish call it the Pomeranian War. I would pay all the money to watch a literal Pomeranian War. Very funny. Get back to your work, Agent DaCosta. Otso's a cat person. <laughs> nice. Cook's time in the Atlantic also made him a master surveyor. He produced the first maps of the Newfoundland coast, which caught the, caught the attention of the Admiralty and Royal Society, which launched his career as an explorer. Oh, they don't mention anything about his exploring in this? Oh, maybe that'll be updated later. Eh. Still, very cool guy. We could read about the Pembroke, Wolf, but that's Lawrence just... Lawrence and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself, back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Well, I'm in it. to disappoint you, sir. But, like, yeah, the Americans call it the French and Indian War, I call it the Seven Years' War. I mean, either title makes sense, I guess, but Seven Years' War is... I mean, that's how they mentioned it back in AC3, so I guess just to avoid confusion, I call it that now. You guys remember that? When Haytham's talking to George Washington, and he's like, Tell him what you did! Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh god. We cannot let any through. It is imperative we stop those ships. That's one. Make good use of your own mortar ship. Yeah. He's sailing right at me! I will not be boarded by a man of war. I will not be boarded by a man of war if that's impossible. I just it will it's not gonna happen. Oh, it feels good not to get my ass kicked by <laughs> by braids again. I know! Oh, I'm stuck on it, that's the problem. Hey. Who's Ram? This little thing? This little thing? Did I really miss him? Oh well, I'm the worst. Ah, uh, what are you doing? That's right, get out, get behind me. Hello. No match for us. I keep holding left. Oh, there we go. There we are. There we go. I'm not sinking ten ships with mortar, but I'll sink as many as I can. Because why freaking? Fire. You're so fucking cute. We have a die. Thank you. One fireball took that thing down. All right. I sank maybe three or four with mortar, but yeah, not, I'm not even close to ten. I got some. I know that ship. That's the Experto Creed or Crate or whatever. Oh no. 
No, why are you here? I have had enough heartache. Oh god. I mean, I saw the screenshot. I knew it was coming, but I still don't want to do it. God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. And we I will not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. I it do too. No credit. Uh, credit. That's how you say it. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Great. We have to get rid of those Stay fire ships. Ready to fire, Captain. Fire. Okay. Oh, Are you what? God, how many? I, do I have unlimited mortar? Cause that'd be nice. As soon as it turns red. Good. I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm getting hit with mortars, but I got it. <laughs> this is stressful! We I figured. I hit it a little too early there. Heavy shot! That hurt. I got them. Are you kidding me? Oh Jesus, I don't know. Don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannon. Shay, you're crazy. Have you seen the condition of your ship? Ah, indeed, except not really. I am a fan of this music, however. Good. Something else back there. I will focus the shot. And then mortar. Hey, I got ten! Awesome! I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! You're going down! Oh, I survived! I survived! I thought I was gonna die! I thought I was gonna die! Oh my god, that was so terrifying! But I survived! Almost. Expecto Crede is still out there. Shay, you're mad. But I have backup now. A lot of backup. Holy shit crackers! There's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. <sighs> the tide of war is turning! That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. And Wale is still out there. Yeah. Sure, we got another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. So he got away. I'm not killing him today. Good. Just delaying the inevitable. Am I in sequence four? Oh, fuck that. Yeah, I got hit by two fire ships, I think, and that almost killed me. But no, I, I managed to pull through. You know, I'm all for naval battles. I'm all for naval battles. Great, that was awesome. And also, I didn't have to kill Adewale, so great. <laughs> Though he was there. <sighs> Did he know I was there? 
I don't know if he would know. But I think I'm in sequence four now, because it said memory one. I wasn't paying attention from before. I mean, I guess there's a present day break in between each sequence. That would probably make enough sense. But yeah. Sequence four. Out of six. I'm so close. Hmm. I don't want these games to be ending. Mr. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a no. man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them uh, to their core. Ah, it's good to be back in my Morgan. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gist. So was the Elder Washington and Smith. I rather enjoyed drinking with him. Wardrop too. Oh. Though the man could not hold his liquor. He and Weeks never got along. If you're trying to test my conscience, Gist, you've succeeded. <laughs> You have. We live in a time of war, Shane, but it's always war time for us. I sound like my uncle Jedediah. He was an old sourpuss. Let me tell you. Another time, guest. I said. I don't know if my ram is strong enough to destroy that. Plus, there's a shipwreck in there. So. I see. What about cruise quarters? A larger com complement of crewmen. I need that. Let me go ahead and do that. Oh, look at them! I can redeem those on Uplay! I gotta go get those! Oh! Le Garfot! That was Le Chasseur- I mean, uh, Chevalier ship! Yeah, you know what? I'm actually- you know what? I'm actually gonna save it for shenanigans. I think I am. So yeah, it says I can- LOOP it! <laughs> LOOP THROUGH THERE! <laughs> Alright, so I can go this way. I'm really gonna need to watch my map carefully now, because I CANNOT SEE ANYTHING! WHAT ON EARTH?! I figured they wouldn't be- oh no. Whoa, hey! This is a hard territory, I don't want to be here because I'm not ready for it and I'm not stupid. Oh god. Ah! I'm just gonna go, if you don't mind. Oh, fuck you! Go! Oh god. Okay. I don't freaking care. Brava- bravado? Bravado? Habadabade? Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Hey. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. Adewale. Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Don't call Refitting him that. Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed. Gentlemen. It's good to meet you, sir. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. I don't want to. I don't want to. I love Adewale. I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs>